okay good morning everyone let's we'll start our lesson for today lesson uh, we'll go through our lo4 learning outcome for apply human resource management practice in a work related context so how we can apply human resource management in a work related so that's all we will go through today lesson before starting our lesson first we'll go through what go, uh, what in what are the inductive content what we supposed to go through so today lesson we'll go through job and the personal specification <laughs> job descriptions should be the word descriptions and personal specification so job description is what this job is about what sort of quality required for the job for the role okay personal job specification and personal uh, specification apply to the recruitment context and need a need of the organization taking into accounts of legislation legislation last lesson we learn about okay so which will go through in a bit you know recap so and then we learn about recruitment and select uh, section how technology can play the key role yes of course technology can play the key role so especially which website we advertise our job adverts yes what will be the, how we can use the technology in a recruitment and selection process digital platform social networking and designing the place job adver ad, uh, advertisement so shortlisting and the process of application interview preparation best practices and selection and evaluation of after the selection you know is it our process is effective or not <clears throat> okay last lesson uh, we also always carry on doing the, the recap we learn about HRM, what is a human resource management. We discuss about management is a process of designing an environment to achieve our objective. So we can only achieve it when we have a right resource and the human resource is the one of the key resource in 3Ms, man, money, and material. These are the key resources in success of any organization and we have to manage recruitment. We in selection, we discuss, we discuss about hard and soft approach, we discuss internal and external environment <clears throat> internal within our organization and external outside we discuss uh, like you know the factors a uh, couple of you remember past which is political economic social and technological so today we link our discussion with technology why technology is becoming more important and how technology can play in our can play a role in preparation uh, our job specification advertising and recruitment and selection process performance yes of course performance we need to measure so what we discuss performance is always three things performance equal to time cost and quality so if we want to measure the someone's performance always look uh, what how much time someone took how much cost us as a company and what was the quality of the service because if somebody not competent so it's the quality of service will be poor so maybe so we need to be think about you know those lines as well organization objective hr of course organization objective and you don't have a right staff at the right place so you're not going to achieve the organization objective so that's why is a crucial or in our organization objective then we discuss various case studies, enterprise rent a car, we discuss uh, port a cabin, port a cabin case study in our last lesson, uh, which you're supposed to, okay, then we discuss about legislations. Okay, we discuss about DPA 1998, Data Protection Act 1998. We discuss about Health and Safety Act. These are crucial. 1974 we discuss equality we discuss about equality and diversity act and we said the latest everything is merged into equality act 2010 <clears throat> that's we discussed we mentioned new gdpr general data protection regulation which is 20 20 uh, 20 2018 that's been updated we discuss about you can have a right individual to get your file what information company is holding about you SAR subject access requests okay then we discuss the discrimination we discuss discrimination can be direct discrimination okay direct discrimination we discuss indirect 
and they we discuss you know you maybe contents you prepare you discriminate you know someone so which is in law we discuss about maternity uh and they we discuss about paternity leave <clears throat> we discuss various other sort of legislation those been all changed and merged to the equality law yes equal pay law sex and uh, gender discrimination act so these we all we discuss in our during our last lesson <clears throat> okay we discuss about internal and external recruitment process as well so that's you know all was in the previous lesson so let's will start our today lesson so think about current to your knowledge about job job specification we can say job descriptions and specifications so that's you know we need and today lesson please just spend few minutes and think about scale 1 to 10 what your current knowledge please just pause this video and just think about and write down okay good <clears throat> always good to be when we start activity reflect when we finish to reflect what we really we learn okay next now we looking now because we just focus on industry recruitment and selection in hospitality and tourism industry it can be applied in any other industry as well recruitment is the process of generating a pool of candidate from which to select the appropriate person to fill fill the job vacancy so the job pool so that's the recruitment and selection so what we need to do then we have a selection selection is a process of assessing the job applicant using one or the variety of the method with the purpose to find the most suitable from that job pool whatever we have that pool you know we have a list of we have a series of people what of how will select it we have to do interview we have to <clears throat> meet the, with the job description the personal specification what we design which we'll go through in few minutes so that's you know the key thing <clears throat> okay next we discuss about hospitality and uh, tourism industry which we will go through so skill involved in the recruitment and selection the recruitment and selection job description so that's the first thing personal specification advertisement short list interview selection test reference discussion the skill evaluation of the vacancy drafting the criteria summarizing fair discrimination okay questioning skill listening skill assessment skill evaluation skill that's all we need to go through to make our job process in and is it the skills required so these are the crucial skill required for the role in a hospitality industry and that's the selection and process then we can look around the specific role <clears throat> okay what is the job description then okay guys let's you know so job description just think about job description sorry my slides became a bit bold okay next now okay so job description okay job description is a document <clears throat> that outline the purpose of the job uh, the task involved the duties and responsibility the performance objective reporting relationship it will detail of the term of the condition it is well, last lesson we discuss about contract we discuss about the ex uh, express terms and implicit terms yes those by required by law even you don't write it and the it uh, implies right to our the job contract <clears throat> and the employer should provide the contract and they we discuss about a c s a a c a s we discuss about is uh, this is our arbitrary conciliation 
arbitration services, you know, the organization which provide if we have a conflict and uh, the union and all members and they set the code of conduct. And so that's what we discuss. We discussed code of ethics as well yesterday. Lesson. So personal specification is a dom uh, is the document describing a personal skill characteristic required. Fill the position usually listed under the heading of essential and desired. Yes, so that's you know the crucial thing which we need to be as a <clears throat> okay. Let's we'll look around what is personal specification. What are the personal specification can be? Okay, the personal specification is usually based on either a Roger point seven points plan. So physical characteristics. So first we need to look around such as the ability to lift heavy load. It depends which <clears throat> nature of the job we are asking heavy load. Appearance, speech, manner. So that is physical. A 10. Education, qualification, work experience considered necessary for the job. General intelligence, such as ability to define and solve problems. So, problem solving skills, we can say, aptitudes, skills, attribute, competencies relevant to the job. Aptitude. So, the interest, work related, layered pursuit. So, that have a bearing on the job. Disposition, job related behavior, for example, demonstrating friendship net circumstances for example domestic circumstances ability to work on social hours yes so that these are the crucial things that we need to <clears throat> okay guys just think about now design a job description for a job of customer service assistant on the basis uh, rogers seven points so job description based on the rogers seven points so we have a seven point then prepare the job description. So let's please spend a few minutes. Think about. <clears throat> okay, that's what we need to. Okay, next we're looking now in that. Yes, so please, that's what you need to prepare. So then next we're looking the Fraser five-fold grading uh, criteria impact on others, people, similar Rogers physical makeup, uh, qualification and experience. Uh, yes, any abilities and aptitudes. Uh, then motivation, a person desire to succeed at workplace, adjustment, personality factor that may impact, you know, on the thing like ability to cope with the difficult customer. So that's, you know, we need to go through. Okay. Hello, welcome. Morning. Okay. So that's we need to look around. Okay, next we're looking the recruitment and selection in hospitality. Essential criteria define the minimum standard, form the basis of rejection. If somebody don't feel it or don't meet the certain qualities, we can reject the job. Uh, to be not going to offer desired criteria or over or above minimum, what you know, the basis of selection. So that's you know the process we need to uh really involved in the recruitment and selection process. So next we're looking now job description and personal specification. 
So we've been given here, this is the one of example, this guy, you know, all link less, you know, so you can copy or you can search yourself as well. There are job personal specification and a, a job description example. Eh? <clears throat> so that is, we can, so we can look around and which is given here in the slide. Maybe it's quite difficult from there to read for you. So that's, you know, the this is a job ID, yes, location, where it will be address, is it part-time, full-time, and the company, what what is, uh, what will be your role and responsibility. So that's, you know, the crucial thing which we need to go through when we'll go through the job description. We can pick, you know, any job up and we can look around the job. That's, you know, the activity you have, guys, you have to do, yeah? so because, to fulfill the, this activity, look around the job description and I bring, you know, anything what we think which we can discuss in the last lesson, eh? uh, which will be assignment discussion lesson. Okay, recruitment and selection, hospitality and tourism industries. We can look around the surveyed 147 retailer implies appearance rating by 53% is a critical and 40 is a important to the business and slightly higher aptitude such as a lower for the technical skill, aptitude and appearance. Soft skills are clearly more important than hard skill for the frontline employees in hospitality industries. And that's, you know, you can soft skill, you can bring from others, you know, that's this is crucial for the job, like, you know, your communication skills, uh, objection handling. So, discussion tiger and tiger. One is the pub is how they became successful, and uh, we can find the job. Of course, due to the COVID nineteen, maybe they at the moment they're not recruiting because due to the lockdown. But we can find you know all job description, and you look around. Okay, and do a bit of research about tiger and tiger. Okay, so recruitment and selection, hospitality industry. So a supply of cap cap capacities and the attributes, you know, possessed by the workers at the point of entry into employment. So employer then mobilize, develop, and quantify these, you know, the capacities and attributes through the processes of recruitment, selection, training, transformation into the competencies and skills. So which are then it gave, you know, towards the productivity and the style of the service and enhance, you know, deliberately intended appeal and the sense of cust customer most. So that's we need to. In simple term, many employed in the tourism hospitality seek to recruit employees who look good and sound right. So that is the crucial thing which we need to look around. Okay, next now case study, which I'll send you the case study, which we can go through. Labels, yes, that is crucial. Okay, next now, we're looking the point to consider in writing the personal specification. So write all the items on the specification relevant to the job. Are you reason able to show that none of these criteria would be discriminate unfair against the group of potential candidates. Yes, so really, we can't really write, we don't want Asian to recruit for this role. Yes, or we don't want to be ethnic to be in this role. So would your personal specification enable to shortlisting interview? Yes, that's also help us, you know. So like case study of crews, yes, we can look around that and when they recruit, what sort of quality is required. Uh, then the recruitment method internal implies existing contract, external contract, advertising and media. That's, you know, we can look around advertising media. So we need to look around the local, national, trade, professional, journal, magazine, where we advertise this. <clears throat> okay, HRM in hotel. That's, you know, we can look around Hilton, how and what they are and how they advertise the jobs. Okay, next. Uh, recruitment and selection. So recruitment and selection in hospitality and tourism industry, drafting the job advert, name and the brief detail of your employer's job role and duties, key points of the personal specification are the competencies, salary, at least, you know, that is a crucial thing to require. 
<clears throat> so the chartered institute of personal development which is cipd which i mentioned you in the previous our discussion as well institute of professional advertiser outlined the following criteria of judging the excellent recruitment advertising visual impact so graphic and balance yes colors and schemes and backgrounds clarity of the message you know target audience promotion of the job we can see projection of the professional organization image and focus work place diversity yes so that is crucial that's why you will see we we not discriminate on the basis of age anybody ethnic are very welcome to apply for this role so you may be seen in the job advert <clears throat> okay next we looking now the advertising and media content news so is that's you know the crucial we can advertise there as well and we can look around tv radio send mass posters and various others then on the basis of customer recruitment and hospitality we can look around the job center is it operative or is it management yes is it local press or is the word of mouth is it employment agencies or trade press or national press and personal consultants okay hospitality industries <clears throat> point the number of the things that need to be considered conducting an inter interview interview should be only talk about the 20 20% of the time and remaining the time should be filled by the interview so you not talk and ask the question interview should tell about themselves yes so open question are more useful and so the question starting with with what and why and when and which and how can be useful to see the information from the candidate example instead asking the question like did you enjoyed your last job your interviewer could ask you know what did you enjoy about the last job interviewer recognize the like you know the candidate from the background the term <clears throat> okay guys i mentioned you in the previous you know our discussion as well is good to be look around the star method of interview this is called competency based interview and most of employer is uh, is using this technique you know to, to conduct interview <clears throat> okay next we looking the interviewer vulnerable in the previous with the regard of the aspect of the gender and the age interviewer are affected by the physical clues okay that's these are all the points we need to be consider i'm not going one by one but you just you know make sure you when we'll do a job description as we mentioned job description critical screening tool and the team up with another student and they interview each other about the current and the past job if you are not participating in the class with your student think about so of course we at the moment i'm recording this otherwise we can but please you can do as well you can ask and you can think you know these question <clears throat> okay then example of the assessment center and the management training with the pizza hurt if we are recruiting introduction presentation about group exercise coffee break role play yes that is a huge you know role play planning exercise lunch video exercise verbal and numerical reasoning test and finish closing so that can be then we can look around other different role in easy jet and the cabin crew if you want so that's easy jet process that they do and normally adopt okay then multiple questions can be <coughs> okay then uh, next we looking the uh, this is the quiz please about the recruitment and training so you can copy and paste and look around okay next we have interview what so when we conduct interviews so what sort of things really we need to keep in mind so we can recruit you know the right a process which is a potential employee is evaluated by employer prospective employment in their company the organizations are formed during the process employer hope to determine whether are not applicant suitable for the job so inspection you know in uh inscription team work eyes contact a report building variety of question in depth problem encourage 
to Kenny Gray talk and warm. But yes, so welcome that, you know. So that's we need. Uh, it can be interview, can be phonic interview, of course, these days. And then one-to-one are the panel interview. That's techniques we can use. <clears throat> Prepare yourself prior going to interview, research about the inter- industry job company know about the position you are applied and why you are interested and prepare the response of the common interview question think of the question you can ask and read uh, reread your resume and practice well and arrive before 15 minutes <clears throat> body language yes enter in the room confident give a warm handshake and smile oh be carefully of course covid 19 huh? maybe we not a handshaking so smell and the great you know each uh, of course smile and they greet you know each person with the respect and professionalism do wait until you are offered to chair sit and pay big attention to your postures and make and maintain your eye contact that is a crucial thing during interview body language yes project positive attitudes stay calm and composed avoid you know Bring and tripping your feet and don't, you know, cross your arm and don't, don't say anything negative about the farmer colleague and do avoid, you know, controversy topic. <clears throat> okay. So think about that you need to be in. We can focus openness and defensive. So we should be openness. Yes. That's we not our hand close. That's it. Defensive. So we should be openness. Okay, so evaluation and suspicions, yes. So that's you think about the posture. Huh? Okay, expectancies and frustration, you know, the putting hand on the. So that's you all you expected. Self control and nervous. Okay, readiness. This type of and the bore so just thinking so we're not confidence versus insecurity so that's you know so your legs the other position should be in the angle that will help you know <clears throat> to be motivated panel so traditional the series of question about candidates about qualification behaviors and give like i mentioned your star method that's all we can use it uh we're not looking interview questions Tricky question, simple question, have a hidden purposes and why you want to work here. How you would add the value company? Why should we hire you? What is your weakness? Yes, uh, for answering, listen carefully. If you feel the question is unclear, ask politely for clarification. Pause before answering your consider the facts. Always offer positive information, avoid negative, be direct. Yes, that's, you know, men and women, what you wear. Yes. So that's our crucial, you know, suits are the pumps with the small or the medium heel, for the woman and the men for suits, jacket, long sleeve shirt, tie, conservative shoes and socks and neat and groomed hair and trimmed, uh, no beard. <clears throat> Uh, yes, so that's, you know, we may make good, you know, preparation. Attend mock interviews, be able to verse with your resume. Yes. So always, guys, the advice, you know, when you send the application, keep the copy off and go through what you wrote. It sometimes it can be yeah, because we, we don't know. That's the strategy we can adopt. Red flag cause not listening a question carefully, being poorly prepared. Yes, that can be a problem. Closing interviews, ask interviews what the next step will be. Ask when the employer plan to be make the scene and show the appli- appli- appreciation for the employer interest in you and the follow up any information employer may ask you to provide after the interview. Like, you know, the, okay, then come training. Of course, employer in the training, training increase the knowledge and skill that we discussed, but is a crucial, you know, after the interview and selection and define, you know, the training is the act of increasing the knowledge and skill of the employee by doing the job. And they, this is also the objective of training to increase the productivity that we really want. Uh, and they, we can 
uh, get the full potential from the clients. Huh? So I included you what the difference between training and development, uh, induction, orientation, job, apprenticeship training. These are all types of training on job, off job. So guys, it's good to be look around. It's a few more slide extra there. So just good to be look around. Huh? And if you have any question, you can ask and you can drop me email. Huh? Okay, this is all about training evaluation process. <clears throat> okay, so today what you need to do, you need to prepare reading about job specification and job description and prepare job description and job specification sorry specification for customer advisor for but we like tiger and tiger pup okay so that's you know you need to and uh, that's you know the crucial uh, anybody, any question, if you have, please feel free to drop me email and I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, yes, so there are extra slides, just, you know, go through the training and evaluation process after the selection. That's why there are the slides. Okay, thanks for listening to the lesson and uh, hope so I'll speak to you during our next lesson, which will be about assignment discussion. Thank you. Bye-bye.